Hi there. Welcome to Arcadia Marketplaces. We're glad to have you start your business on the Arcadia platform. My name is Evelina, and I'll be walking you through how to maximize the features on the Arcadia platform, and specifically to assist you as the marketplace administrator to educate your sellers on the seller portal. Whether you're an existing business built on Arcadia or brand new to our system, this series of walkthrough videos will cover the updated Arcadia interface for both administrators and sellers. If you're a seller looking to start selling on a marketplace, this two-part tutorial will help show you the ropes on how to effectively maneuver the seller portal. The first part will cover the retail goods template, so if you are a seller of service bookings, do click the link that will redirect you to the second segment covering services. Let's begin with creating your seller account. There are two scenarios in which you can become a seller on an existing marketplace. Firstly, on a public marketplace, anyone can click become a seller to create a seller account immediately. Fill in the relevant details as determined by the marketplace admin and follow the prompts for onboarding. Once you've completed the onboarding steps, you will be a marketplace seller. Alternatively, some marketplaces have restricted access or in other words, they are private marketplaces. The process to onboarding to a private marketplace depends on the marketplace admin, where some might opt for vetting processes or an interest form. Once you pass the prerequisites, if any, you will then receive an invitation email, which will allow you to create an account using the create account button. You can then click the link and you will be redirected to the signup page. You can then register under your own unique username and password or by registering with your Google or Facebook login information. Once you've completed your login credentials and sign up, your account will be created. You can edit your account under the settings button when you hover over your profile picture. The details you may wish to provide on your account include your company name, description, contact information, location or address, and payment acceptance. It is important that you fill out the correct information as buyers will be able to see your profile details on the marketplace. Depending on the marketplace, there may be one or more payment options that are available for the seller to activate on the marketplace. Some methods may be made mandatory, which you will be required to link in order to completely set up your account. An example of a mandatory payment method would be Stripe. By clicking on the Link Account button, it will redirect you to your Stripe account. If you have an existing Stripe account, please sign in. If not, follow the directions carefully on registering and linking your own Stripe account. The page will also display the marketplace's transaction fee, if any, at the bottom. For demonstration purposes, I will be using cash on delivery as my mode of payment for now. With that, you have completed the onboarding process. Your seller account will include a dashboard page, which you can access under the dashboard tab. Here, you can keep track of your product sales daily, weekly, or monthly. In addition, you can view your top product by sales or by popularity. You can view your uploaded products under the Your Items tab in the seller menu. The option to disable or toggle off a product is also available, which will hide your uploaded product from the marketplace and make it unpurchasable. You can then make edits to your product while disabled. To add a product, head to the Add Item tab. You will then be required to fill in some mandatory fields. Such fields would include product name, description, category and subcategory, images, product-related details, as well as pricing. Depending on your marketplace administrator, you may also have to fill in certain custom fields, such as certifications, or perhaps upload a video of your product. Be sure to fill in these relevant fields to give your consumers a better understanding of your product. One other useful feature is variants. Variants are characteristic groups available for each individual item uploaded onto the marketplace. You can specify up to three types of variants for your products, such as scents, colors, size, or material, and have unlimited options for each variant. The image option, SKU, and surcharge under variants are all optional. The stock, however, is mandatory. If the stock is unlimited, click on the gray box at the right-hand side of the product option row. In order to edit a product, you can click the pencil icon on the right-hand side of the product row. From there, you can edit your product however you wish. Do remember to hit save when finished 
and refresh your marketplace to see the new changes made. Likewise, should you wish to delete a product, you can click the X button accordingly. This will completely delete the listing from your account and our system. You will have to re-upload the listing if it was deleted by accident. As a seller, it is important that you update your order statuses according to the current situation of your products. Under orders, you will be able to view all current invoice numbers and order numbers. For each order, you will be able to view the product's total price, payment type, and payment status. You can track and update the statuses of these listings via the order status header. Do note that these changes to order statuses are manually done by the seller. So the responsibility will be on the seller to update accordingly. Under the drop-down box, you can see the option created for successful payment made, acknowledged, as well as delivered after a service has been fulfilled. Sellers can tick the refunded box when they have made a refund to the buyer. This will change the payment status to refunded. Do note that this only updates the status in our system and does not change the status on your payment gateway. You will still have to manually settle the refund with the buyer on the payment gateway platform or by transferring the amount back to the buyer. When it comes to delivery, we would recommend that you update your delivery options under the delivery tab before uploading your products. Do note that you are also able to set up multiple delivery and or pickup options under the delivery settings found under the delivery option in the drop down menu. Click on the add delivery option to add a courier service for your products. You will be allowed to create multiple delivery rates either by total order weight or price. In addition, if your marketplace admin allows international shipping and you are able to fulfill it, do add the relevant countries under the Delivers To section. However, we do advise to keep international and local courier services under different shipping options to avoid any misunderstandings between your buyers when checking out. Once done, click Save and it will save the courier details and reflect on your delivery overview page. Apart from adding courier services, you can alternatively add a pickup option at the bottom of the page instead. Type in the full address and click Add Pickup Option and the pickup option will be saved. The Browse feature allows you to view the marketplace through the lens of a buyer, enabling you to optimize your product listings on your page as well as troubleshoot if your buyers face any issues with your product listings. The inbox of the chat function allows you to keep track of conversations you may have with buyers regarding your products. If a buyer has shown interest and requires clarification, you can find such queries within this tab. The More tab serves to redirect you to relevant pages that the Marketplace Administrator has set for the Marketplace. Depending on your admin, you might also be able to give employees access to your seller account by clicking the Invite Subaccount under the Sub Account tab in your profile drop down menu. To add a new sub account, simply press the Invite Sub Account button at the top right and key in the email addresses you would like to send the invite to. Multiple recipients can also be sent an invite at the same time simply by separating each different email with a comma. Your invitees will get their own login credentials, however, they will not sign up using the usual registration page on the marketplace. Instead, the EDM sent to them will bring them to a sub-account registration page. We hope that this walkthrough helps you understand the capabilities of the seller portal. If you need more information on any of the features in this video, be sure to click on the Arcadia FAQ here to learn more about those features. On behalf of Arcadia, we wish you all the best in building your marketplace.